Hey, welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. We're going to take a look at Yixin's brand new QX95 Nano FPV Racer. Been kind of looking forward to this thing. I've really enjoyed these little nano racers. Yixin's given us the uh, QX80 and uh, the uh, X73 here. Now the X73, you have to have a Tyrannus to fly this. Um, the QX80, you can actually get with... Um, a FlySky receiver already installed. And of course, this is a JJRC's answer to the uh, QX80. We'll take a look at that in another video. And we've got all the parts here for a QX90. You've got a frame, you've got four motors, you've got a flight controller, a receiver, and of course your propellers and your battery connector and your camera. But the Yixin QX95 is a ready-to-fly version that has an all-in-one flight controller and receiver. And you can get one that is compatible with your Tyrannus transmitter. Or you can get this version that is the FlySky version that works with the uh, Yixin or the uh, FlySky FSI6 transmitter. Here is our manual, and they are getting much better with the manuals. We've got binding instructions for multiple different transmitters there, some basic uh, clean flight settings there. Most of these nano racers use the same clean flight settings, I've noticed. Of course, it comes with uh, two batteries and uh, little Velcro pieces that you can put on the batteries to help strap it to the bottom. You want as many batteries as you can get, because you're going to get about three minutes worth of flight. Of course, here is your dual battery charging cable. Charge both of them at the same time. Great little way to quickly charge them. And of course, it also comes with a USB battery charger for a nice, slow, safe battery charge. We have a spare set of propellers, a propeller removal tool. Of course, we have two extra motors here. And the aircraft itself is completely assembled and ready to fly, pre-programmed. All you've got to do is bind it to your transmitter. And uh, the binding procedure is actually pretty easy with this aircraft. Basically, with the uh, FlySky transmitter, you just uh, bridge these two little solder points together right here. And if you bridge those two together with like a pair of tweezers and uh, plug the battery in, the blue light will flash and it goes into bind mode. And then you just grab your FlySky FSI6 transmitter and hold down the bind button and turn it on. And I had no trouble binding to this. It bound on the first try. This aircraft actually comes with a light strip on the back here. Whenever you uh, get it out of the box, you may actually have to attach this light strip with the uh, little sticky foam pads, but that was really the only thing. And of course, you put the Velcro strap on the bottom to hold a battery in, and let's go ahead and plug a battery in. And we will take a look at these lights and this FPV camera. There is our all-in-one camera and it's going to broadcast a really nice video stream. It does really good in uh, low light conditions. And of course there is the nice tail light strip that's blinking at us, letting us know that we need to connect. Of course when you turn on your transmitter, the little green light will start flashing to let you know that it has bound to the aircraft and you can also tell the uh, tail lights function. So whenever I go left, you get a left turn signal, right, you get a right turn signal, stop, you get a stop, and let's see, when you power up and give it some thrust, you get the blue. So that tells you how fast you're going. It's a pretty nice little aircraft, and as you can see with the motors of the QX90, you have to solder those in place, but the replacement motors that come with the uh, QX95 actually have little plugs on them. So whenever you want to replace a motor, you can literally just unplug it. If you need to replace this camera, you're going to have to, you know, solder it in and out. But it's a nice little all-in-one flight controller here. If you get a QX90, you're going to need to uh, solder your motors in place. And uh, same with the uh, QX80. Of course, the uh, X73 has motors that can clip in as well, but it has uh, much smaller motors and it's a much smaller, lighter aircraft. 
Okay, let's take a look at the video feed from this FPV camera. I gave it a little test and it gets, uh, you know, decent video in low light conditions. Didn't get uh, very much interference, didn't really get a chance to uh, go out and do a long range test, but we'll take it outside and we will see how it flies.
it did a really good job. It's a really nice flying aircraft. That's the QX-95 from Esheen. We appreciate you tuning in to RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. As always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.